Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Timberborn. Now um, I've done some some planning in the background. Um, so particularly let's let's um, get out of this get our interface back on. And um, yeah, in previous episodes we've uh, we've solved the food problems and the logs as well. They they're going pretty well, even though the logs are going down a little bit right now, but that's because we just don't have a lot of people working working on that side. Now, um, the improvements. Uh, what have we done real quick? Oh, all right, so in the background, we're almost finished with this um, dam over here. And let me just pull up the interface, actually. And, um, well, I am starting to get a little... Well, again, getting a little worried about the water. Because when the drought comes in, it's um, our pumps are just uh, sucking up all that water here, which means all this land will uh, become barren again, and uh, that means our crops will die. And uh, the reason for that is there just isn't enough water stored in the in the river system that we have going over here. So um, I have started planning to perhaps use this area over here as our storage. It looks pretty deep and. Um, store quite a bit of water here so i've put in a, a bit of a barrier because i do want to raise the water level even further uh, so that way this land is nice and uh, well it's not gonna be flooded and so the beavers are busy starting to build this uh, dam over here we've got some levees and also floodgates now besides that uh, we've opened up uh, one more house over here, and then just about to finish this uh, walking uh, platform over here as well, hopefully. Um, I did have to put in another builder's hut as well, just to speed up our production uh, building uh, projects over here. And let me just speed up the time so they crack on with jobs a little bit quicker. And then, um, what else do we have? Oh, yeah. So this corner over here, uh, the plan is to uh, start taking advantage of the of a couple of those windmills especially when the uh, drought is in and the the water won't be flowing so um our solution for that will be to use those uh, windmills i have also queued up a couple of buildings or or sort of plan them and and pause them um our blank situation is is pretty sad um the, the reason for that is we just can't keep up with the uh, with the demand for our building projects and finally, well, I think finally, we also have uh, unlocked one of those bridges over here. That is a three by one. And I was thinking of um, maybe cutting the travel time because right, uh, travel time down right now, if they're these workers, they have to go all the way from here down the stairs and around to work on these uh, projects, which is, you know, it's it's almost at the end of the line over here. So what I'm thinking is, is giving them an alternative route. Uh, because all this water here as well, this will become a very lovely little lake. However, it's just falling off the uh, map over here. Yeah, so we do want to have a dam in place there. And uh, so that way we can keep the water in. Uh, now, I'll let them... First, finish this project over here, I think. Just to keep a little bit more water in. Uh, hopefully, we don't have any droughts coming in soon, but um, that is essentially the plan. And I i don't know how I didn't realize, but there is another ruins location over here as well, which is also very close to us. I mean, right now, we are um, exploiting this one. And let's see, this storage is full as well. Uh, why is it full of carrots? Um, do you know what? That's okay. Uh, I think we'll just do another warehouse over here. Maybe we'll prioritize this as well so that we'll... So that way our beaver, uh, Jarjaya, won't have to run all the way. I don't even know where he's going right now, to be honest, because these are all set to food only as well so he must be coming all the way somewhere over here yeah well that's a long way to run we'll uh, fix that problem hopefully very soon 
Uh, what's the issue with you? Oh, that's okay. Unconnected buildings. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think we can also... Uh, put this one up the queue. There we go. Now, how are we doing over here? Mm, slowly getting better. Well, we got seven unemployed. So, how about we get another... Another builder's hut. We got one over here. And this one's pretty good. So, how about... Mm, where should we build this? Now, we're gonna probably going to want to put some more production over here. So, maybe this could be a good location. So, I think it was 2 by 3 Let's do something like so. We'll give this a high priority as well. And once it's done, we'll just put another build this out over there. Cool. Okay. Now, I guess another thing we'll have to do over here is to figure out how do we want to, well, once they come up across the bridge over here, how should they get down to the ground? Um... I mean, obviously some sort of ladder system. So maybe something that comes straight out and then goes left and right. And then at the end it can go straight down as well, I suppose. Uh, we can... Yeah, let's unpause this one. And the same with you. Another interesting thing that I, that I did observe was... Um, so... The game mechanics when it comes to beavers um, building stuff is, is, is quite interesting. So they have to sort of stand next to a block that you're building or or, or not just a block or, or a building. Uh, however, the, the height does not seem to matter because for this bottom uh, levee over here, the beavers were literally standing on top here and that is... What is it? One, two, three, four. About four blocks high. So that's an interesting to know. So for example, if I did place, uh, let's see, the small platform here, the beavers would be able to build it from, from top here. Well, right now it's saying it's too far, but uh, I think if I pull a road over here, then they'll, they should be able to build it. Well, let's, let's, let's test it out real quick. Uh, so something like so let's take a look and yep they are able to build this now so that's uh, that's something interesting to know let me just get rid of those roads that was not part of the plan and uh, cool I think with this one as well let's synchronize it and we'll leave it at two um Anyone going to get rid of this for us, please? A high priority. Um, beavers. Wait, can we... I don't suppose we can build over that. Yeah, we have to wait. Okay, well. We'll wait until some beavers are free to um, sort that out over there. And uh, yeah, so the builders that will go here, th that should help us speed up some of the construction project. And then uh, water-wise, yeah. Um, I mean, it does look like a healthy number right now. But uh, as soon as the drought comes in, let's say, longer, anything longer than three days, that is going to drop drastically. And that is the point where we might, might accidentally put too much strain on the um, our current system here as well. Uh, sorry, I mean the current water uh, that's a bit ill for oil. Um, speaking of the devil, seems like we've got another trout coming in. Um, I do have eight unemployed and really want to... Uh, let's stick you in here for the time being, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, there's... Uh, I think I've got too many high priorities. 
maybe. No, these are not high. Okay, that's almost done. Oh, they must be all doing this over here. Right. You know what? I'm gonna do it this way then. Let's cut you down just a tiny bit. And now we've got some beavers. Perfect. And come on. Almost done and fantastic. We'll give you a high priority because we are going to need some more builders. Obviously to keep up with all this, uh, yeah, workload. Um, well, this seems to be complete. So I am sadly going to have to delete him. And that's because we just want to have another windmill in that location. Uh, it seems like you need a gap of two. And then... How should we do this? Let's see. We're going to have to... Hmm... Let's uh, do it. Okay, I'll figure this out a little bit later. Because I'm just thinking long term as well. We may want to siphon this power uh, to some other locations in the future. So, um, don't think we need you. And these don't even have a windmill just yet. But we do need planks as well. Okay, so maybe we do have to prioritize those. Right, so power first. Let's think about this. Um, I suppose... Do you have to connect them up? Well, technically we... Oh, do not delete that. What are you doing? Okay, this way. We could connect them. <laughs> well, I guess... You know what? I guess we're right. We don't really have to link them. At least for the time being. We can just go... Ah, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll do it anyways. And then we could bring power out from here. So let's just... Oh, mm, yeah. Do it this way. And... Yeah, let's... Right. So that should be good. Uh, you got a slightly higher priority. A couple more workers in this building as well. So now we should have about 12 builders. And that should be a lot better to keep up with all this work. Uh, we'll get rid of you as well. Let's see, yeah. A lot of war. Oh. Um, well, even if we build uh, this bridge across over here, I don't think our beavers will be able to reach in that. So, yeah. Uh, I have think, uh, been thinking about getting a new, um, what's it called, like a district center. But I'm just not sure where do I want my next district to be. I, I, I guess it's... We opened interface again. This is sort of already the limit. Another district could potentially go somewhere here. And then once we raise the uh, water level here as well. We should be able to... Yeah... Turn all this into fertile land as well. That could be something interesting to do. But that means first we need to finish those roads. Because any beavers that we're going to migrate, they need a, like a path that uh, connects different district centers as well. I believe at least. 
I don't think they can magically uh, teleport from one to another. At least I haven't tested that. All right. Almost time for that trout. And we are... Yep, the flow already stopped. Losing so much water here. Ah, that is painful to watch. And this actually... can't remember if I said it before, but this will be actually pretty good. Pretty good spot here for, for water. Yeah, I think I did say that. Um, what is it? One, two, three. And once we get those levees in place as well, it's going to be like four deep. And that should be able to store enough water. Plus... All the water that we'll um, uh, get from here, we can dump it straight into this lake. Well, it's not a lake yet, but it's 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 gonna be. That is our long-term uh, goal to try and te terraform as as much as we can, really. Uh, but okay, let's see. We've got the windmill in now. That means any unemployed. Yes, we got got a couple. Blanks are not doing good, so let's. Oh, actually, wait. Our lumberjacks can't keep up with the workload. So, this means... Change of plans. We are going to need a couple more of you guys. High priority. Get this built, please. And... Nice. Okay, we've got a few more lumberjacks. That should help us uh, bring our logs up again and over here paper all oh, right almost forgot we are gonna start making some paper as well and the sole reason for that really is to do a bit of bit of landscaping uh, i don't know if we're gonna be no we're not because we need metal but in the next episode I think I'm really hoping to start making some explosives. And then if you remember from one of the previous episodes, we did briefly discuss about bringing some sort of like a ditch through here to make this land fertile as well. And then maybe just having like a waterfall drop down. But we'll, um, we'll see. Yeah. Now... That means we're going to have to start processing the metal, aren't we? And that is 300 science points. We got almost 3,000. That's alright, actually. We need 50 planks, 20 gears, 30 scrap to build one of those. And needs power. Hmm. Okay. I guess we could build this here. We got the power producers. Well, when there's wind, at least. And then... Yeah, we've got another set of ruins over here. One over here. So they are pretty close. Yeah. Okay. Wait, is it... Drought or it is drought already. Okay. Um, I keep forgetting to turn this off when there is no drought. Honestly, that's two extra extra beavers we could have have cutting down some trees. Uh, oh well. Right. Uh, so many projects and so difficult to keep track of all of them. Uh, let's take a look. We are getting very close to completing this year actually and that's fantastic what is it? we got two more of those floodgates and well quite a few of those levees i think the priorities were right yes they were now oh yeah that's a bit silly we should have Yep, that was the right way around. And this one. Same in here. 
And also this. I'm thinking over here, we are going to have to go over. So... will give you a higher priority then that's gonna be blocked in and like so oh yeah this needs to be higher priority as well so it's not gonna be blocked in and whilst we're here let's just expand this road in case it helps them move a little a little faster uh I forgot to turn these off. Well, it's too late now, but we'll get the get the workforce going somewhere else. And we got no water there as well. I don't really want to drop all this water there because that means... Well, this water is the only thing that's keeping our farms alive right now. And the water, le wa <laughs> water level in here is dropping drastically as well. It seems like all these farms are sucking up quite a bit of that moisture. So um, that is another reason why we want... Um, to put a dynamite, I think, in this corner over here, just to when we do have water, let it flow in this uh, our um, well, let's call it a water tank or yeah, tiny little pond, uh, just to fill it up when there there isn't that drought. Uh, for now, we are gonna lose well, the trees trees are gonna be fine, but we've lost all our crops, and that's no good. But um. Uh, what can you do? Oh, look at that. That, that is pretty much complete. Awesome. That means... The next water comes in. Uh, we still have to get over there. Um, oh, and we got our first part of the... Part of the bridge over here done as well. Now uh, that looks pretty lovely. Nice, they've got the corner pieces done. That means we can do up this and that one too. And maybe we finish this mill here too. Um, let's see, we still got a few home, uh, not homeless, unemployed. Yeah, I think we, we got still a couple of trees. Hmm, I think that's that's an alright balance right now. And the trout has finally ended. Oh, that is so good to see. Uh, right. So the next thing we want to plan out over here is how this bridge is going to work. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe if it comes down here and we start going up like so. Yeah, that's a very, very high bridge. Something like that. I think for the time being, we can just... Uh, let's see. This one, that one, okay, is this high enough, oh, uh, I think we went a little over, didn't we, yeah, so, Do I also want to make this long? Um, ooh, maybe not. Maybe we'll bring it... Yeah, let's change this up. I don't want this to be taking up all that lovely farm space there. And these guys. Oh, we got a few more. Here we go. So let's, uh, let's do it this way instead and now 
Yep, that looks good. Need a two. Another three and a one. Do another triple one here. Double one. And we can get the right angle. Oh. No, not the single one. Yeah, something like... Something like this will do. And once they build this as well, we can um, go with the... Oh, wait, they will not be able to build this. Because this structure has to be done first. Oh, that's a pain because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, they can't reach all this way. Uh, mm. Then I guess we're gonna need some sort of a temporary structure over here. That brings them across. Yeah. And then that also means... That we need stairs. Yeah, that's that's a bit of a bit of a pain to be honest. But uh, oh well. Oh no, wait. Oh yeah, and then hmm. Let me just think about it for a second, actually. Oh, wait. What are they building right now? Not sure. Um, yeah, th this is going to be a struggle. Unless we just do a... Yeah, let let's do it the easy way. Um, you know what? Right, we're going to have this path over here. Actually, from here, we can already go up. Another two, another stairs. Let's see, we need one more. Oh, there we go. Are we almost at the right height? Yes, we are. Well, that's going to be a lot of wasted planks because I don't, I don't think, like, long term we want to keep this. But... I guess that's what we have to do then. Um, I will put a high priority in these things. Let's see if they can do it. I don't suppose they can, but... Um, yeah, um, that's what we'll do. Right, so... Population-wise, we've got 63. They are... Let's, let's turn on this water. Water bumps again. And then we get across... Hmm... Yeah, maybe it would have been easier to focus on this. Um, right, I'm going to figure this out. What should be our priority? Because right now we're um, pretty spread out on expanding on all different directions, which is not necessarily uh, a really bad thing. However, we do want to solve that water problem where, as it happened during the last round as well, we just uh, don't want to lose our crops if they're you know, about to get ready as well. I mean, our food situation is pretty good, to be honest. Like, we've, we've got enough of everything. And that's that's great. Um, but in general as well, we, we just want to have that water in the reserves. Just in case we will we'll get some of the longer longer droughts. Um, but for the for the time being, this, uh, this is going to be the end of this episode. Oh, quick save, I think it was. 
Um, yeah, in the next one we are going to, uh, well, figure out which direction we want to expand first. I think, yeah, we, we are going to keep going this way. Block off the dam most likely and then uh, build up this water extraction uh, uh, site in this location with a new district probably as well. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thank you very much for watching and uh, hope you have a good time. And, and I do hope to see you once again.